What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I'm going to teach you guys how to participate in expeditions here in Rise of Civilizations. So expeditions are another way that you can get deeper involved in this game. Tons of stuff to learn here today guys and today we're focusing on those expeditions. Now what we're going to do is head on into my village and I'm going to tell you exactly where you can find this. And as you can see, right by my body, right here, we have a notification on expeditions. And this brings you to a map of 70 different expeditions that you can complete here in the game. Each one of these expeditions is going to offer you different rewards. The rewards get larger as you go further and further into the game. When you get to level 70, you will see you get some fairly decent rewards, 50 chests, look at that. And when you start out, we're at number one, you only get a little bit of corn, you get a little bit of uh, a little bit of stuff here. The bigger the prizes become as you go further down the expedition path right here. I'm on expedition number three, and as you can see, I'm gonna be getting 15 chests for my first victory. I'm gonna be getting a couple of, uh, actually we got uh, some sculptures. You can actually click on these if you wanna find out more about them. We have some food, we have some Tomb of Knowledge, and we have, of course, the Medal of Conqueror. What I wanna do right now is hit that challenge button right here and actually look at the challenge and see what it asks of me so that I can go in and get it done. Eliminate all enemies, no problem. Complete the mission in 60 seconds, no problem. Lose less than 50% of your units. That shouldn't be a big deal at all. Let's start it right now. We're gonna go in here, get this battle done, and see if I can complete the mission. So what I'm gonna do right here is go in and attack, march right away, right away. So I'm gonna change it up. March to those guys. I wanna take them out first. They are closer. We're gonna zoom in to see this battle as much as I can, and that's about as much I can zoom in right now. The battle is gonna take place. We have 40 seconds left, and again, I can only lose 50% or 49% of my troops, or else I fail the challenge. The expedition would be a failure at that point. Now we have to come in over here. We're going to march them over there, and hopefully I have enough time to get this done. It's going to be tight, guys. I may actually run short on time. Oh, no, I want to get this done. Let's see. Will it get done in time? Let me know in the comments below if I'm going to make this happen or if I'm going to fail. I have 13 seconds. 10 seconds left, guys. It should be enough time. Let's see if I can get this done. Six, five, four, three. Come on, take them out. One. Yes, we got it done right in the final seconds of that challenge, and we are going to reap all of these rewards. That worked out nice right there. I'll take all of them, and then you'll see another opportunity, uh, exhibition number four, is now available so now you can see where to find the expeditions what kind of rewards they give you and what basically they have to offer why they're here in the game but what we're going to do here now is take a look in my village and see what's going on i'm just about a max level city hall four and i've actually saved a few things to be built just for you guys everything else for the most part i actually could do a little bit of my resources there so i'm not quite max level yet but i'm getting there and i have tons of tips for you guys that i'm going to be bringing you that i've learned along the way only a few hours into the game and um let's take a look at what i could build i could build a shop a lumber mill and that siege workshop we're going to build that siege workshop right now and we're going to put it right over where can i where where is it going to fit Will it fit anywhere? Does it fit nowhere? Do I need to remove some trees? I may need to move some things around here. Why can nothing move? We're going to get this out of here. Yes, demolish that. We're going to demolish that. We're going to demolish this. We're going to move this on over. There we go. And we are going to go back in and get that siege workshop. There we go, drop it right there. It only takes set 10 seconds to build, and then I can start developing those siege machines, not to be confused with the siege machines in Clash of Clans. These are historical, medieval siege machines, and you can see right here the different ones that you can build over time as you upgrade. You will get yourself uh, to this lovely gadget right here, but you're gonna start off with the battle ram, which will help you get in through the walls of your enemy 
I was actually attacked today for the first time and demolished by a level five. So that was kind of a problem, but we have more to build right here. We're gonna build another lumber mill. We'll do that right there. It's only gonna take one more second and we're going to build a shop and the shop, what exactly does this shop do? That's what I want to see. Let's move the shop over here. We'll take a look. The shop is where you could purchase things. You could get resources, speed ups, boosts, and others, which will help you progress through the game, of course, using some real money. So let's move the shop all the way to the back here. Whoopsie, that didn't work out properly. We'll grab that shop. We're gonna move it right back here. And there are some chests I wanna open today with you guys as well. It's not just about the expeditions, it's about my progression through the game that I'm gonna always be here to share with you guys. So we have our quarry, we have our lumber mill, and we have another lumber mill. So let's take this, this quarry, we're gonna move it, we're gonna add the lumber mill right back here where it should be. And now remember, always upgrade your stuff. We're gonna get this tree out of here because this spruce is just kind of in the way. I like things to be neat and clean, so we're gonna move this stuff out of here. I don't think there's any benefit to having things here. Um, we're gonna upgrade. What, what what happened there? I just jumped out of here. We're gonna upgrade this right here. It only takes 15 seconds. Then we'll be creating more lumber. Remember guys, you need this stuff to create things in the game. It's very important. You don't wanna go and not have enough resources. So, some other things that I've learned around the way, now that I have everything actually planted here in the game, is your wall. You wanna always remember to upgrade your wall. Make sure your wall is as, as, as strong as it can be so that when you are attacked, like I was, you can survive a little bit longer. As you can see, my wall can't go any higher until I go to level six tavern. But you do have these as well, the watchtowers. And these watchtowers Watch is one of the most important buildings in the city's defense. There you go. She just said it. On the one hand, the watchtower will protect our troops from attack. On the other hand, it can also deal damage to the enemy. Makes sense. After it's been damaged, the watchtower will recover on its own, so you don't need to worry about it too much. Beautiful. Now, the watchtower, it is basically some of your defensive structures here in the building, and what you're going to do is try and upgrade them. I'm not going to do this upgrade now because it's going to take 15 minutes, and that will be basically the end of the video. So I'm going to do another one of these things that I just dropped. How about this siege workshop right here? We're going to upgrade right here. It's going to take 50 seconds. In that time, I'm going to go explore some lands. I have two explorers at this time, and I'm gonna go and explore over here. I'm gonna send my explorer, head back to my village. We're gonna explore with the other explorer as well. I try to always keep my explorers out and my people farming while I'm, you know, I get in the game really quick and I try and just go out and do a little bit of that stuff. But do we want to battle? We had the expeditions where we could battle, but do we want to battle just some regular folks? And let's see what kind of rewards we have right here. Space clearance. Yep, we, we, made, we made some space. And take the lead, of course. We also have uh, suit sustainable development, that is. Do we get this free chest? Yeah, we do. Let's take a look at what's inside. Congratulations. We got more loot. Let's go. In here, we just keep getting so many rewards. This game offers so many rewards. Look, they just continuously come right here, guys. These rewards. Your management team. Siege workshop is now available in the building list. We should manufacture some siege units to help our resource gathering. There you go. Let's do it. Let's get the siege machines going. We're gonna go here. We're gonna train them up, and it's gonna take 11 minutes. It looks like it's gonna make 50 battering rams. Is that exactly how that works? Not really sure, but uh, time will tell. We will find out. And uh, what else do we have here? What can we build? We want to build nothing right now. Research. No research can be done, I don't believe. Let's see. Am I able to research anymore? Yes, we can. Two hours and 42 minutes. That research has begun. It allows me to produce things quicker. But again, I want to go in and fight some barbarians. So what you do is you hit the map and you hit this magnifying glass. I'm going to look for a level four army right now. And it looks like I found one right here. Let's go in and attack these guys with my troops. I'm going to go in with my strongest hero, which is Herman. We're going to march them over there. And that's going to take only 26 seconds. Where are you, Herman? There you go. They're coming on in. This battle is going to happen, and it's going to be brutal. Let's see. They're running away. They fear me. And check this out. The battle rams are behind right there. I do have a few. Although the battle rams don't do anything when you're just attacking a, a group like that, 
it does help you get in through the walls when you are there. We're going to enter back up in here, guys, and we are going to clear everybody up, heal everybody up in the hospital. That's important to do all the time. Now, something else I want to do is recruit, which means I have some chests to open. As you can see, I have no golden keys, but I have three silver, so I'm not going to get any new heroes in this episode, but... I'm going to get some loot. We're going to take a look at those right now. And it looks like I got my uh, Lancelot sculpture. You got to love those sculptures, guys, because they do allow you to upgrade your heroes. We have a couple of other obsolete sculptures as well. And lastly, the last one is an obsolete Starlight sculpture and a bunch of other stuff. But nothing crazy. We're going to take all that. And it looks like I have one more silver key. We'll use it right here. And we will get nothing crazy. Silver chests won't give you much crazy, guys. They'll just give you a little bit of stuff that you can enjoy along the way. Now, I do have some notes here in right over here. You see that there is some mail for me. Always check your mail. I have an exploration of report right here. Notice that right above the head right there is a telescope or magnifying glass of some sort. A telescope, I guess. You're going to click on that, and it's going to show you rewards that your guys find while they're hunting around you could click on those pick them up and you could bring them back home is there anything else in here system looks like you got this one here as well we'll claim that reward i'm telling you guys so many rewards to claim in this game it's just got to be loved let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos and if you want to see more from rise of civilizations if you do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because i'm going to start coming out with this a little bit more regularly along with my PUBG content and of course my daily clash of clans content and also guys throw a thumbs up in this video just to show support to my channel to the game and to everything going on here on youtube but you know i'm thinking right now i should probably go in and do another one of those expeditions what do you think let's try it this is going to be tough that last one was tough i could fail this one i haven't upgraded my armies at all so we're just going to try it out we're gonna see we're gonna see how this works we're gonna go for the challenge and see what it says eliminate all enemies 60 seconds all commanders survived that shouldn't be difficult let's start it up and hopefully it's only one group it is only one group we're gonna go right about uh, there and we're gonna attack we want to march there and we want to march there quickly this is where having one of the other alliances would maybe allow you to be a little bit faster because you would march faster we're here these guys don't march so quick. We're watching them though. Only 37 seconds to get this done in 60 seconds is going to be difficult, I could see. Oh, they are all going to engage right now, guys. We're going in on all of them. We're going ham. Let's see. We're surrounded. Can we bring in the wind though? That may be difficult. We're going to see if we can do it. We got one down. <clears throat> We're taking down the second bunch, and we're going to go get these guys right here. March there. <laughs> Only 11 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6. Get this battle on. 5. It's not going to happen. I'm not... What happened? No. Why can't I attack them? March. Get there. Do it. No. Well. That's going to make me fail my expedition. Let's confirm it. Refresh it. And try it again. I don't know what happened there. But these things happen, I guess. We're going to do it again. We're going to try it again. Because I'm ready this time. So I'm going to go right in here. And we're going to march there right away. Not wasting any time. That was Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening here. We're definitely having some network errors. It could be my internet. I'm concerned about that because I don't want this to happen again. I want to complete this battle and be successful. All right, the other army is coming over to me yet again. We're going to try and take them out. Okay, we're surrounded again. Same stuff is happening. I was a little bit quicker on the drop of those buttons though right there. Now, as soon as these guys go down... I'm going to hit that attack button. 
and let's see if we can get there there we go and march there right now let's get it done no network errors let's take them down and take this expedition and put it in the books as a victory here's the battle it looks like i have nine seconds i should have enough time to bring this one in guys i am winning as long as i don't lose my general come on stay alive there we go we got the victory again Whew. That worked out. No thanks to the router going on over there. But we got it done. We're going to collect the rewards. And we are going to head back home to our village yet again. There we go. We're going to collect some of our resources. Alliances. They must know who I am. They keep asking me to join. They must know how OP my village is going to be. Notice my troops are all healed up over here. I'm going to check out my rewards and claim all of these. Siege unit rewards. All this stuff right here. We're going to claim everything. And we are going to claim these two as well. There we go. And another expedition is waiting for us. We have this alert up here, which is day number two. Teamwork, claim that reward as well. And, oh, wait, is that a chest that I see available? No, that's not available right now. No chests available. We have our VIP rewards. We could claim this chest right here. And our daily reward, our points are going to be right there. 140 continuous date login days six and tomorrow's points are going to be 160 just getting me ready for that and i'm going to claim this free everyday chest giving me some resources and a level three tomb of knowledge so there you go guys we learned about expeditions today we had some fun today we dropped some new defenses and some new structures today and um well, of course as always we had some fun. Let's get that quarry going up to the next level. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this game. Do you think it's something cool? Do you think it's something that you are going to download and try out and maybe play with me? Remember, I am looking for an alliance. And I'm looking for an alliance that I could feature here on the channel. If you have a high-level alliance here in Rise of Civilizations, hit me up in the comments below. Maybe I could join up in yours because, as you guys can see right here, I am not yet part of an alliance. And you do get some gems when you join an alliance. A video is coming up on that very soon. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. And remember, you can always find me on Discord. I just created a room in Discord for um, Rise of Civilizations. I'm starting to put some content in there as the nighttime sets in. So my Discord is over there and in the description below. And also remember, guys, you can always find me on Twitter at Echo Through Me. But I'll see all you guys back here again tomorrow. Until then, be good.